fatigued, worn out, drained, tired. If you can hang in for a bit, I've got the answer for you. Okay, are you ready for this? As an astrologer and a life coach, I've been working with my clients for years. And the first 10 minutes when I first have a client, I will talk about every little bit of their personality, which also includes their health. I'm not a medical professional, so please do your due diligence. Now, if you're a bit of a novice in astrology, of course, I do Vedic astrology. You're going to want to take a look at your first house and whether you've got a lot of Aries or Sagittarius or a strong Mars in your chart, because this is going to apply for you. Many of these people will have mild to severe PTSD in their charts due to trauma, which I can usually see where that starts. And also it can be just a part of their personality. They're go, go, go. They don't stop. They're high achievers or AAA personalities. Sometimes Capricorns, strong Cap Capricorn can have this as well. You go to the doctors, you get tests done, you get blood work done, and there is never a diagnosis. They tell you it's all in your head. We don't know what's wrong. Change your diet. Um, manage your strength. And it's frustrating because you have real physical symptoms and they're real, very real. So I had this amazing email from a client today. Um, first time she worked with me yesterday and I saw all of this in her chart. And she goes, even though you told me I have CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome, mild, this was a weight lifted off my shoulders. This answered all of my questions. And now I know exactly what to do. And I'm going to tell you exactly what. I'm not a professional but I'm going to, on this, but I'm going to send you to a professional. This is all you do. Go to YouTube and search for CFS, stands for Chronic Fatigue Syndrome, CFS Recovery. Okay, his name is Miguel. You're going to see tons and tons of free videos. Now I'm not, he does have a program. And I belong to that program because I suffered from this too. And who diagnosed me? My doctor, who also suffered from it as well. And I went through years and years of being misdiagnosed. Now, I'm not the most severe case, thank goodness. But finally knowing the answers and reading and looking at a lot of his videos that give you cures of how you can manage it. And you want to know something? And they told this to us too in a coaching session. It's a superpower. Now, I'm going to step that a little bit above the bar. Their superpower is that, you know, it's your body's way of telling you danger, danger. Um, and it's protecting you from really, really severe sickness that can come long term with stress. However, I'm going to level it up. It's a spiritual superpower. It's all to do with your central nervous system and your brain. And your central nervous system is being dumped on constantly, specifically in the last three years. Many of us are suffering from one form or another of anxiety, depression, uh, stress, and chronic fatigue. I don't really like that word. I wish I could find something else, but that's what it's called. Your central nervous system means that you're extremely sensitive, not only to your outer environment, but your inner environment too. And it's a language. We just have forgotten how to understand it. And it talks to your brain and it talks to your spirit. And it tells you how to navigate your life. You'll feel it in your gut. You'll feel it in your chest. You might feel it in your head. Everybody's different. So go over to that YouTube channel, start watching his videos, and you're going to start to see that your superpower can be tamed and managed. Namaste. You got this. AskHollyHall.com.